uh, we are on to the second season. We have just ended off the preseason. I felt like we have an eh preseason. Uh, definitely not great. Definitely not good. It was eh. So, I don't find it as a winning season again, but I will definitely find it if if there's a if a chance that we get at least 34 wins this season, I'll be happy. So first off, before I want to do anything else, I would like to update my uh, my trading block. I have a good idea of who I want to trade off. Mike Smith, of course. Mazanic, I do not want to trade off. I do not want to trade Mazanic. I want to, however, trade away. Wait, where is, where is he? I want to see if I can trade away. Uh, where is he? Where is he? I want to see, yeah, actually, I want to see if I can trade away a decent, or a decently high, a decently high type of pick. Let's see about a first rounder. Drafting away our first round, and let's see for once. We need a, a a defenseman basically top we'll, we'll go with top six and then we'll go with shooting maybe like a like a now nah, we'll go three stars buck skills uh, we'll go three and a half senses three and a half uh, skating we'll go with a three physical we'll go with the three defense we'll go with three and a half select rating we'll go a good Eighty. Uh, we'll go eighty-three. Let's see. We'll go passing. We'll go with a nice eighty-five. I know eighty-seven. And then let's see. Um. How about a good slap shot power? We'll go 85. Now we'll go over forward. We'll go with any. And then shooting, I would like to have it as a three and a half. Puck skills, a good three. Senses, three. Skating, three. Physical, go two and a half. Defense. And two and a half. Overall, I would like a player that is a good 85 or 80. I'll go 82. 83, actually, never mind. Then we'll have a good. Mm, we'll do Risha Accuracy with a good 87. I think that'd be. I feel like that'd be decent for a, a good player. And now we'll do. Mm, mm, Puck control. We'll go 85. Mm, then forward, we'll go with any. We'll go shooting, and eh, just two. We'll just go two overall, or just two stars overall. And then we'll just go with overall with the nice. We'll go 81. All right. Um. Current picks. All of them are on, and then future picks. No way! I'm sorry, but during the time I'm recording this, uh, the Blues acquire Ryan O'Reilly from the Sabres for Patrick Ber Berglund, Vladimir S really Svodka, Tage Thompson, and a couple picks. Wow, that must be a big fucking trade. Holy God! All right, anyways, enough of real hockey. Let's play some virtual hockey. Why don't we? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, simulate up to the first game. 
and we're gonna we're, we're gonna simulate the first 10 games so i'll see you after i simulate those games So, uh, three and seven, that's, I mean, it's pretty bad. It's, it's, it's decently bad with the, with the goaltender we have. I want to see who we have and if I can trade him away. So far, Zucker is our best play, is our best offensive player. Huberdo, one and four, five, and negative, oh, minus five. Zingle had to go up there because Denal was, uh, out. Three and four for Zingle, not bad. Uh, however, Zucker with four and three. Wait, oh, what does Zucker don't have? Oh, he's one and four. Okay. Uh, Tatar one and three. Beagle just one. Uh, Drew Stafford one and two. Uh, one zero for Mr. Pelly. One and zero. I mean, we can't score goals. It's I don't know why, but for some odd reason we just can't seem to fucking score goals. I don't know why. We just can't seem to score. It's it's fucking stupid. <laughs> So, the only ones who are able to score is Stafford, and Zucker is the only one... Zucker and Zingle are, seem to be the only ones that can actually score more than one fucking goal in ten games. However, I feel like Raffle's doing a decent job. I'm going to put him up on the second line, and Stafford can stay on the third line. Uh, Devontae smith Pelly, yeah, I'll just keep you right there, bud. Um... Defensive-wise, let's see about defense. Nick Holden, zone two. Dochin, nothing. Olfitson, nothing. Nothing. Holy nothing. McCrath, something. I mean, this is this is quite depressing, to say the least. However, we are just gonna have to go with it, and just hopefully we can roll the dice and fucking get somehow a winning team. So I'll see you guys back in another 10 games. Okay, after these 10 games, I, I've i decided that I need to get some, some centermen. It, it's, it's no question or debate about it. I need two uh, two-way centermen. It's it's just, I need them. I really do need them. And so I'm gonna be, I'll am gonna be back after I find at least two centermen that I find that has decent uh, face-offs and decent shooting, so I will be back. Okay, so I found a uh, Ola Palve. I, I don't know who this guy is. He's 26, he has 79 face-offs, and he has a decent wrist shot. So, uh, I'll offer him a contract. I'll give him two years for 750, so I'll give him exactly that. And I'll be back for another one. Okay, I found another, uh, a decent centerman. He's a sniffer. His name is Brandon Buck. I'm pretty sure this dude's American, but we're gonna sign him up with his nice 79 overall, uh, 979 overall. Or, not overall, he's a nice 79 overall uh, faceoff. So, again, 75, 750 mil, uh, thousand dollars for two years. I'll offer him that contract, and I'm pretty sure they'll have no choice but to sign with me. We're gonna simulate another 10 games. Hopefully that shit wanted to go much better. The last 10 games was not bad. We seem to have another three wins, so eh. so I'll be back after another 10 games.
Okay, we had a little more successful uh, 10 games in the last one. However, we won four games in this one out of the 10 games. So I'm happy about that. However, since Auntie Ranta got better, I'm going to uh, move down Pickard. Hopefully he got to play one game. I want to see if he did. Did he play one game? No, he didn't. However, Grab Bauer is injured, so I'm going to keep up Pickard. I'm going to keep Pickard up. All right. Now, with something later, another 10 games. I think our players are... Actually, wait. I want to see if my players are doing well. And so I don't have to move them around. I'll... At this rate, I'll just have to keep it up with this. So I'll see you guys in another 10 games. Okay, um, I'm not gonna lie, the 10 games weren't too bad, especially this one against Carolina. 10 and 2. We won 10 and 2. That is a lot of points, considering how many you. Oh my god, I wanna see my line of how much that's gonna upgrade my line. So, Huberto, 10 and. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. 10 and 15. Not too bad. No. 8 and 16. 12 and 17. Nice job, Zucker. Not too, not too bad, Raffle. 6 and 20. Pretty good, Raffle. 11 and 13 for the single. Uh, 19 and 14. Or 9 and 14, my bad. Uh, Lonsky Ventelli, 4 and 12. Not bad. Kruger, 4 and 19. Or 4 and 9. Uh, 13 and 11 for Drew Stafford. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep Raffle up there. Stafford, you can stay down there. Clifford, 2 and 2. He's got 33 penalty minutes. That's a lot of minutes. He's like my unfortunate. Oh my god, Glenn Denning, you have 33 penalty minutes. Oh my god, 5 and 4. You have a plus minus 5. What the shit? And Joe Benal. I don't know how to pronounce your last name, buddy. 2 and 2, not too bad. But not that good either. So, defense, Candela, you're back. Welcome back, boy. You got 1 and 0. Congratulations, you got 1 and 5. Oh, I love you. Dodging, 2 and 1. Good job on upgrading. 0, still Cowan. Zero! You know how much money I'm paying for you for fucking doing nothing. Three million for four years, you fucking cock. Olfeson, one and two. God damn it, McCrath. Fuck, I'm putting you down here, Cal. You can go fucking suck your dick. We'll do one more ten games, and then I'll probably call it an episode. So we'll do one more. Okay, um, definitely one of the worst week, or worst 10 games, but we were able to get a lot of goals, I know a lot of games, except fucking against New York. Jason Zucker, 50 games, he's got 32 points, it's not too bad. We need to find a franchise player now, however. Uberdo, 10 and 20, he ain't, he ain't our franchise player. 11 and 17, not bad. Zucker, 13 and 19. Stafford, 14 and 11. Stafford's almost up there. Tatar, 10 and 19. However, Raffle has 7 and 24. I feel more comfortable leaving Raffle on the second line with Stafford. However, I'm going to change their positions. Zingle, 12 and 17. For a 26-year-old, be one of the youngest top guys in our team. That's pretty good. Kruger. 6 and 11. Not good. Probably gonna trade his ass. 6 and 15 for Mr. Smith Peldy. Not bad. 2 and 2 for Mr. Clifford. It's a grinder. What do you expect? He's 5 and 5. Luke Glendening. Not too bad. He has a plus minus of 5. Even though he has 35 penalty minutes. That's a lot of 5s. And blah, 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 has 3 and 2. He has a plus minus of 8. Negative 8, I should say. And 4 penalty minutes. Let's see how the defense is doing. Scandella, 1 and 2. My God. 3 and 5. Nick Holden. 4 and 1. Jake. Putting you up there. Cowan, 1 and nothing. Olsen, 3 and 2. I'm putting you up there. McCraft, 0 oh and 6. 
Holy shit, I think he has more than open. Yeah, he does, so I'm gonna put this butt right back over there. Bitch. Oh my goodness. Goalies, Pickard's supposed to play in the next game. He's played six games, and fucking Grab Hour's not back. I am not looking forward of what's gonna happen next season. I honestly think that our defense is the most lacking. We're last in our division. But then again, we only have 37 points. There's no way we're going to fucking make it to the playoffs, nor higher than third in our division. We need to fucking pick it up, and we need to do it fast. So next episode, I'm probably going to trade away players uh, for defensemen, because my defensemen cannot get it done. So, have a nice day, everybody. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please show me some love, drop a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Goodbye.